So now if you make your own components, how do you type that? And now we're gonna answer that question in this video. Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy. And in this video, we're gonna look at Kaboom JS and TypeScript, specifically how to type components or custom components with TypeScript in Kaboom JS. Now, before we start, if you like our videos on Kaboom JS, be sure to hit like on this video and subscribe to this channel. It is the best way to support uh, what we do here. All right, so in Kaboom JS, we can use it with TypeScript and we made a video for setting up your Kaboom JS project to use TypeScript. Um, in a previous video, we'll link to it in the description box below. Now, once you have that set up and you are using TypeScript with Kaboom JS, uh, you can leverage the power of TypeScript by just typing basically everything. So now, if you make your own components, how do you type that? And now we're gonna answer that question in this video. So I'm gonna make myself smaller since I don't need to be this big. Let's go over here. So here in our example, we have VS Code open and uh, let's, uh, just uh, delete that for a sec. Yeah, I was testing something before we started here. Okay, so we have this big component, this custom big component, and we've just added this basic text uh, text entity with these components and this big component. This is our custom big component. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna do a bigify and a smallify. What this bigify does will just make it twice as big. Smallify will just make it uh, let's just may say make it half as big. So we'll go to 2x scale or 0.5x scale. So having uh, TypeScript in our project is all great, is uh, all good and well, let's say. Um, but how do we then know from here what this is, for example, or how after we come up here, let's just say this is, you know, text. Uh, this text thing, how do we then know that we can call bigify on our entity? All right, so first thing, let's solve that initial problem. So in our custom component here, it's just a function. Check out our other videos, uh, our five tips for using Kaboom.js for more information about custom components. But here's just a function. It's gonna merge these two uh, functions into our entity that's created here at the end. So in Bigify, we wanna be able to go like this dot scale because we are expecting the scale component to be on this entity. Now you can of course do checks in code uh, for more safety and then just do nothing if there's no scale component. But you can also just say that your this has a certain type. And this is a TypeScript only syntax feature. This does not work in modern JavaScript. So what I had previously you saw was this scale comp type uh, imported. So we don't need this anymore. So let's just import a type from Kaboom that's called scale comp. Now how do we know this is the scale comp that we need? If we go to scale here, see that scale returns a scale comp type right there, right here. Over over scale, scale comp. So we want scale comp. Now let's just say our thing here is of type scale comp and we can do this dot scale now. So we have access to scale or we are letting TypeScript know, which then lets VS Code know that our this in this uh, function is expected to be of type scale comp. So then how do you access more than one, let's say, since of course this entity is made up of multiple ones. Let's just say for our big component, uh, we're going to expect that there is a post or a position comp. So we go here, let's import post comp and we can say that it is both scale and post comp, right? This means our this is going to have position and then we can access all the values inside the position comp. All right, so uh, that's just how that, that's how, that's how you're going to type this inside that function. So to do bigify then you do this dot scale x to this dot scale y2. And for smallify, it's the same thing. I'm just gonna omit post comp because we don't need it. Uh, uh, this, and we're gonna make this half size, right? So awesome. So now we have the type in our custom component. Let's go out here. We wanna do text.bigify and we don't get this code complete because uh, we don't know what text, what type text is. Text is a game object type which is of course missing all the other things. Uh, text, there's no 
scale. So what we can do is import, or rather to make, no import anything, we already imported scale, scale comp. To make this know that it has scale comp, we can just do as scale comp, right, as post comp. Let's see what it says. Uh, game object. Okay, so this is like all the types that it could be. So you can, of course, manually add all of these. And so now you'll see that text.scale exists on our uh, text object, but we want one for big. And so how we handle that, we can declare a new type. So we can do either an interface or a type. I just need to see what these are. It's, okay, so Kaboom.js is using type, which is totally fine. So let's say we do type um, big comp, right? And we know uh, big comp has a bigify, and it uh, takes nothing and returns nothing. It has a smallify. It also takes nothing and returns nothing. Cool. So we can say this as big comp. We don't actually need to do that, but uh, so it helps us when we're making this. If we're, this is what we're expecting, we got to make sure we have all that stuff there. So for example, if we like, committed this, uh, it should error that big returns big comp, but that's not true. Well, it didn't error as I want it. But nonetheless, here's that. And here we come down here and we say big comp. So now we do text dot bigify. That should 2x our kaboom text here, and it indeed does. And let's say k dot delay, k dot time. Uh, k dot let's check the docs while we're here. So there's a way in Kaboom to have a delayed call, I believe. Uh, let's see, let's see, wait, right. K dot wait. And we're gonna wait, let's say one, one second. And we're gonna do text dot small five. All right, let's go back here. Starts big, goes small, that is half size and what it was. So there we go, that is uh, adding types to your various entities and your custom components so that you can more easily write code that gives you help from VS Code and to make sure that everything that you're writing is actually accurate and as you expected uh, to leverage all the power of TypeScript in your Kaboom JS games. Now, if you enjoyed this video, do hit like and subscribe to this channel for more videos on game development with Kaboom JS and other web technologies.